Hi YouTube, it's Vicki and Amanda. And we're back with another haul. This one is from Petals Bath Petite. And she makes some of the most beautiful soaps. Her soaps are really, really pretty. And she has an Etsy site. And then she also has a um Art Fire. Art Fire. So check her out. Her what are her sites? Um, her art fire one is beaconcreations.artfire.com, and then her petals is petalsbathboutique.etsy. Um, petalsbathboutique.com.com. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. This one here is the. Arabian spice and this one smells so good it's really a spicy it's a beautiful it's a brown soap and it's got some little bit of swirls of some lighter brown through it and it is just mm, I love the smell of this one and Amanda's gonna read the backs of them yeah she comes with these little cute things on the backs on each of her soaps they're really cool this smells good. It says Arabian Spice Warm and Tranquil Filled with the Aromic Sense of Romantic Times Past. Mariah and Orange Pulp with Spicy Notes of Caraway Seed and Dark Vanilla. And it does. It smells amazing. And look at how pretty her labels are. They're I love so her labels. Pretty. I don't know where she gets them done, but they are just beautiful. They're so cool. And she has like these little pull tabs, so where they're so easy to just get your soap out when you're ready to use them. I've never seen that before either. That's really cool. I like that. Okay, then this one is the brown sugar and fig. And yeah, oh, it smells good. All of her soaps, they have a, they just smell so good. And they're so pretty. This one is kind of like a burgundy and some white through it. And it's just a really, really pretty soap with, and her tops are so pretty. She's just got her a, a new tank. Well, she's had it for a little while now. And she's got a new soap mold because everything has to be so perfect. She takes her time and uh, just makes sure. Look at these, even these little tiny stickers on the back to hold them together. It is just beautiful. She's amazing. She's definitely my favorite. I have several favorites. And she is. She's one of my top favorites. She's like the number one on my list. I've got to place another order with her. I need to get some more milk and honey and you some can, cider barrel. You can definitely smell the brown sugar and fig in this. It smells amazing. It says, a deliciously rich fragrance with a note of coconut milk and caramelized brown sugar ending with soft musk. And it does. It smells amazing. Really, really pretty. Phoenix Rising. I've seen her make this. You've got to watch her um, YouTube videos, too. She um, has them on YouTube. And... Uh, the writing is so tiny. I'm going to let Amanda read this. It's got some really pretty colors in it. But I think it has something to do with the Harry Potter. It smells amazing. I do. I think it has something to do with Harry Potter. Phoenix Rising. Reborn from ashes. Yes. The new Phoenix rises with the morning sun to spread its glorious sorry, wings and live another lifetime. A mystical and enchanting blend of aged vanilla and dried orange pill with hints of woodsy patchouli. And it does. It smells amazing. I love her stuff. Everything smells and feels so good. I'm going to have to hide them from her because she's going to start helping herself to my bed. Yeah. If I could, <laughs> I'd steal all of these and just run. This is one of my very favorites. I love snow cake. It's a pretty, pretty white soap. It's got some nice pipe topping and some glitter. And it just smells, it's almond scent and marzipan. And I love almond. Really it's just like one of my... Smells. The almond smells are smelling amazing. Mm -hmm. It just, 
This is one of my very favorites. And it does, it smells so good. I love them. And then, let's see, it says, deliciously almond. It's amazing. Mm, it is. Here's yummy, yummy. And I know this is a dupe too. The Snow Cakes is too. And it's a pretty pink. Her soap. And it just smells it delicious. Really pretty. I'm just going to make that one. Yummy, yummy. Yes. Mmm. I like this. And it says orange and clove combined with fresh strawberries, balanced beautifully with honey and woodsy undertones. And it smells amazing. Very nice. And look at these colors. We've got some green, some yellow, some yellowish, and some orange. It's kismet. Really, it's a really, really pretty bar. It is. Let me smell it. Hmm. What does it smell like? No, I'm sure Amanda's going to say on the back. It, oh, dragon's blood and patchouli with citrus notes. It's I love pretty. the colors. The colors are so beautiful. If you guys haven't tried her, I'd go order a sample bar of whatever because they all smell amazing. She has this new deal where you can buy like um, sets of like three and four, I think, and save money. And I've got to go do another order from her. Because I need some cider bear. I don't think, I think she's out of cider bear right now. She's got her milk and honey and I need to get a couple of the, flavor, the flavors <laughs> that I don't have. And then this one says a complex powdery blend of dragon's blood and patchouli with citrus notes. And it's amazing. All of them are so good. Here is a black raspberry vanilla. I'm gonna like this one. Ugh, I can smell the black raspberry really good. I can. I cannot smell vanilla in this, and it's a beautiful bar. It's got um, some black swirls and some deep purple. It's got glitter on top, and it smells mmm so scrumptious. It smells really good. And of course, our beautiful labels. So pretty. I love the colors in this one. They're amazing. Mm. And it does. It smells good. You can smell the black raspberry. Can you smell the vanilla? A hint. Yeah, I can. And maybe my nose is off. My taste buds are, so you never know. It says an enticing blend of blackberries and raspberries with middle tones, with middle notes of white floral greenery and a creamy bottom of mush and vanilla. Mmm. And here's another really beautiful part. What she's done on this is that she's um, took the mica, the gold mica, and painted it on the top so it's gold. Very pretty. Some really high peaks on there. And it's golden blossom. Really, really pretty bar. Oh, I can't say enough about her. Sweetest lady, Kara, is her name. Mmm. I like this one. And she's got a Facebook page too. You need to subscribe to her Facebook page. And didn't you say she'll show you how to do like the tops of these oh. when she paints and stuff? Um, she tells you about it. I have seen all of her videos. And she does a lot of cutting videos now. And, um, well, I know she shows. There's, I don't know if there's a few that she does show the peaks on them. Oh, she has this uh, one with the balls, the round balls. And it's not a bubble gum. It looks kind of like, but I can't remember. But you've got to check out our YouTube videos. And then this one says, Sarah passed and plucked the golden blossom. Guilt stripped off the foliage of its pride. But within its parents, kindly blossom, flowered forever. Life's rest is... Restoring Tide, Emily Bronte, 
an enticing boutique of sweet fruits and luscious flowers rounded with a base of soft musk and creamy vanilla. It's exactly what it smells like. It smells so sweet and so good. And this one here, this looks a lot like her um, geisha. Or is her geisha the purple? I know I had a green bar. Maybe it was this one. I've used quite a few of her bars. This is really pretty. She's got some deeper. Almost looks like if it, it's not black, it's a really deep, deep green in there. Really pretty. Green down and through here. They're all beautiful. They are. They're so pretty. All the colors just very beautifully blend in with everything. She puts a lot of thought into them too. Some of them like her cider barrel. I think she's finally decided she likes the one she has. I think she changed it like two or three different times. Mm. They smell so good. And then this one says, Ransom's Treasure, a pirate's plundering of key lime spiked with notes of cracked coconut, gin, black tea, and exotic spices. Amazing. My no. the sea. This one here is one of uh, Amanda's favorites. Monkey farts. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. She's got the white. She's got like deep. I think does this one have the clay in it? No, there's a couple that do have clay. The really pretty colors in it. Her swirls are beautiful. And it smells really good. Oh, I love monkey farts. I do. It's so good. And then this one says, a fun concoction of ripe bananas, pineapple, watermelon, cherries, and lots more of all the delicious things a monkey likes to eat. Mmm, I love it. Oh, it's set on the side too, here. This one here is the rock star. Everybody knows about the rock star. That's one of the very favorites. But hers is just... Look at how pretty with the pink and the purple swirls and her tops are so pretty. It's got glitter. Beautiful label. And it smells very good. Really, really good. That's really nice. Mm. Ooh, I like this one. It makes you smell like a rock star. I love it. It says, funky and fun with sweet candy and fruity notes that are sure to leave a fizzy taste in your imagination. Mm, I like it. Then we have this one here. <clears throat> it's got this like, little candy topping. Real pretty purple. I'm not sure how to say this. Mena says it's the same year. Potions, Pesavia potions, I think. Really, let me smell this one. Oh, this smells like a grape. Yeah, Some it does. of hers have really hard names to pronounce. Yeah, this one does. It smells like a grape to me. Let's see what it says on the back. I smell grape in that. Yeah, I can smell grape. Hmm. It says mushrooms, poppies, sugar, and spice with a healthy heaping of wishful thinking. This tasty elixir is a sparkling blend of juicy summer berries and sun-riped grapes with sugar crystals on a green citrus bottom. Very nice. It smells amazing. I'm going to have to go put an order in tomorrow. And she always gives you samples. She's very generous with her samples. Let's try this one. This is one of my favorites. Orange chiffon. I love orange and chocolate. Those orange bars, balls that you get at Christmas time. Oh, this is my very favorite. I just love them. Oh, I wish this just, I wish I could eat this. Have we done them all? Yeah. 
We're on to that. Oh, that just smells so good. Oh, this does. This smells oh. good. <laughs> that orange balls that we buy. This makes me so hungry. I want to take a bite out of it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> then That's there's so a, good. She gave me a really nice big chunk of the snow cake. And then she also gave me a really nice sample of this. It's actually this one is a little different. So she changed this one. It's pretty. That is amazing. And then what is this one? This one here is Wild Current Sandwood. Let's see what this one smells like. Yeah, I've got, I wonder if she's got any of that chiffon chocolate. Mmm, this one's a pretty smell. More like a floral. But it is, it's a pretty smell. Mmm. It's like a sweet body wash. Like a sweet floral? Yeah. Amazing. I really like the looks of this. Her stuff. fragrances and her soaps just really bring out the soap. They are amazing. I'd like to get this one too. This is really pretty. Look at that. It's brown. She's got like a line in it and the creamy color. This one's Dutch's. Mmm. Yeah, I would like to get a bar of this one too. Mm. I thought you had a bar of this one. I might have. This one's Black Pearl and I think this has to do with... Mm. I think she had some going on with the um, Pirates of the Caribbean. I think this has something to do with that. This is a nice size. Nice size one. I think this is more of a... Maybe a manly scent. I don't know. What do you think of that one? This one's black pearl. Mmm, yes. Is it a manly scent? Very. It smells very manly. It reminds me of a guy just barely getting out of the shower. I'm not, not sure how to say this one. How like a... Alakala? I don't know. It's pretty. It's really pretty. It's got some really pretty. Mm, I think this has got some florals in it too. It's really a soft bar. I always have to fill the bars. I love to, and I love to squish them too. This has got some florals in it too, I think. Very pretty colors. It is. It has some sparkles on the top. Good way we did. Mm. We did the wild current, didn't we? Yeah. This smells like a very pretty flower. I think we did all the samples now. Mm -hmm. But yes, go check her out, Kia. She's amazing. She Petals. Will not let you down. What is it? Petals Bath Petite. And she's on Etsy and she's on Artfire. And she's got a Facebook page. Check her out there. And she's also got her YouTube channels. We'll put a link down below. All right. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And leave us a message if you would like us to review one of these soaps or the soap that you'd like to buy. Just comment below or leave us a message. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll Thanks see you. Too.